One of the plants that I'm really excited about including in this garden, and especially in the waterbed, which we are right now, is this Echinacea paradoxa, which is the yellow cone flower. And it gives a bit of relative height. Most things in this bed stay at kind of a low level to let people um, experience them at right the height of the bed where it's just kind of breaking that surface. But we let the echinacea have a bit of height so it could really kind of stand out and make a cool spike throughout. Um, something we also considered with the design for this was by planting the echinacea near the rill, we get a reflection of the yellow from the flower in whatever else is being reflected. Um, specifically, you could see it reflecting in the building behind us. So this is our little nod or homage to the secret tile, the yellow tile that exists on the side of the Martin building where everything else is kind of this gray silvery tile. So we're trying to transpose this yellow from the echinacea up onto the building through the reflection. This is one of my favorite plants in the garden. This is Stachy's Byzantina and it's uh, lamb's ear. It is, it looks a lot like a lamb's ear and it's super soft and you just want to sit here and pet it all day. I think this plant evokes all kinds of memories for people because it is kind of one of those old fashioned plants that has been around for a long time. Um, so you, maybe your grandma had it in her garden. Um, also kids love this plant a lot. So when little people come through here and they can reach out and touch this plant, um, it'll be really fun for them. I'm really excited that we also included this plant. This is Artemisia filifolia, or the sand sage, into the garden. This is a plant that's really common throughout um, Colorado and much of the West. It's a cool shrub that really gives more of that sense of that um, coral reef kind of breaking the water surface, which is what we want for this touch tank. It's also scented. It has a similar scent to that of big sagebrush, um, which you also encounter throughout the West a lot. And it has this just beautiful billowy flowy nature. So anytime that the wind kind of hits it, it'll kind of move and dance um, and create a different visual sensory experience as well. 